July 4th holiday got off to a deadly start on our local streets with a fiery head-on crash in Valencia. Two drivers died just after midnight when their cars crashed near McBean Parkway and Decoro Drive. KCAL 9's Christy Fajardo was live on the scene. And Christy, one of the victims had recently just graduated from high school. Yeah, that's right. And some of his former classmates have been driving by the scene all day. It happened right on the other side of that bridge. They tell us that Colin Gore had just turned 18 and had big plans, including college. With the selection. When Colin Gore decided on his college, he announced his pick with flair. To San Diego State University. A larger than life personality who at just 18 had his life cut short this 4th of July by a speeding driver. I used to coach this kid. He was a great kid, um, outstanding kid. He always made everyone laugh. He was never like, you know, he was, there was never a dull moment with him. It was great. Adriana Aguirre says she saw Gore at a friend's house just hours before he died. Deputies say a little after midnight, the recent Hart High School graduate was driving down McBean Parkway near Decoro when 34-year-old Joel Godfrey, who investigators say was speeding, lost control of his BMW and slammed into Gore's Honda, killing them both. All of us just keep thinking, we're like, man, he was just the one that had the most going for him out of all of us. On social media, message after message praise Gore. Friends say he worked at Six Flags, had been an honor student and part of the swim team. He had done everything right to secure his future. They're devastated. His good choices couldn't insulate him from others' decisions. He had a lot to offer this world, like I said, and you know, we're a little less without him now. And tonight, Gore's former classmates have planned a vigil in his honor at Hart High School at 8 o'clock. Back to you.